The BioCure therapy is a bioenergy assisted immune treatment. We are using muscle tension and relaxation in the area of the palm to produce the active potential, uh, which is sent from the brain over the spine through the hand into the palm to induce the electromagnetic field, which spreads out of the body, to stimulate the client's uh, electrical activity in the tissue, in the organs, to provoke the immune system to react. So the immune response will happen only if there is some kind of damage of the tissue, or if there is a tacker that causing the damage, or if there is a loss of the function, so the body produces the debris that immune system can recognize as a possible damage. So in our case, we are using the little changes in the electrical activity of the tissue to promote the, the uh, immune system to heal the patient. Bioenergy is an energy that we can observe in the biological system. It's not some out of this world energy. It's behind the transformations happening in the biological system. So, because for any transformation, you need an input of energy. Uh, catabolic or anabolic function, you always need an energy. So the bioenergy is simply the energy that is used by the biological systems. When we talk about bioenergy, in our case, we are talking about the bioelectrical fields uh, that are uh, important for life and electrical and magnet magnetic fields that are behind many functions of the, of the body. The core of biocure therapy is the simple fact that our body responds to the external electromagnetic radiation. This is how we can see, this is how we can differentiate in between the hot and the cold environments, this is also uh, how we can hear, so on. So our cells are responding to the external stimulation. So if we can change the cellular electrical activity that can create a little disturbance in the homeostasis, then the immune system will have an intention and the immune system can provoke the response that can heal in the area of the, uh, of the change that we produced by the simple movements and the muscle tension and relaxation. Uh, this therapy is completely non-invasive. You cannot harm the patient, nor you can acquire a disease from a patient or transfer your diseases to the patient. This is, these are very old animistic ideas that uh, are nonsensical and uh, you can be completely comfortable when you are doing this therapy or when you are receiving this therapy. Clients don't have to believe in this therapy because our body is automatically responding to the changes that are produced by this treatment. So even if you are, uh, for example, in coma, or you, you say to yourself, I don't believe in this therapy, you will still be affected. Uh, I will let me give you one example. If you go outside to the sun and you say to yourself, I don't believe that I will get a 10, are you going to get a 10? It's a good question. Huh? This therapy can be applied in many different ways. You can apply it at home to treat your family, friends, your children, or if you have somebody with a chronic disease and they need continuous attention, or you can treat your pets. Also, you can combine it with a physiotherapy, with a sport medicine, with a psychological work, with the veterinary practices. You can apply it in the hospital or integrative clinics as a, a nursing uh, intervention, or you can have a specialized department which is treating the patients. Or if you want to be a professional, you can uh, open your own medical destination or wellness medical destination where you can provide a group session um, uh, services and uh, uh, apply actually this therapy for the wide spectrum of the medical conditions. This idea that the energy goes where the mind goes, literally, uh, it's questionable. Uh, so if you think of something in your body and you think that that will send the energy there, to a certain extent, yes, but this is actually not something uh, that really works. Uh, what you want to do is that you are sure 100% that the energy goes into the area of the hands and that you can create certain kind of difference of the potentials. And how you do it? You just tense the hand. So when you tense the hand, the brain, in the area of the brain of the uh, upper motor neuron, the electrochemical processes produce the action potentials which are going through the hands into the hand into the muscles of the hand and the nerves of the hand. And this impulse, this action potential is, uh, since it's moving, is producing the electromagnetic field, which is going out of the body. And this electromagnetic field is what we use as a tool for healing. In the past, people were talking about some special substance like prana and chi, 
uh, in the Eastern cultures or in European cultures, the Elan Vitae, uh, Pneuma and so on and so on, uh, like a special substance that creates the life. So we were imagining that there is uh, something materialistic and then we put inside the spirit and then that produces the life. But today we know that the life is about the complexity of the system, of the energetic system and the uh, molecular system. Uh, it's not uh, about uh, some special forces that makes us alive. This therapy is pretty easy to apply. Uh, the only challenge uh, for the new therapists is actually to learn the medical part, to know the basics of anatomy, pathology, to know the basics of the uh, uh, psychology, psychology in the, in the, of the, the group work and so on. But the therapy itself, it's, uh, it's just a matter of, uh, of practice and understanding how this therapy can give a uh, result and how objective this result is. Uh, many people uh, think when they see us doing the treatment that we can feel the energy field uh, and that we can see the energy field. Uh, well, there is no such thing. Uh, of course, that if you are an experienced therapist, then you can know a little bit more about people without talking uh, to them. But essentially, you are just uh, applying the procedure uh, by your logic and reasoning and your experience and knowledge to, to stimulate the immune uh, system to uh, treat the patient. In this therapy, we take very seriously the idea of uh, homeostasis. The homeostasis is a central term in modern medicine. Homeostasis is something that we work with and homeostasis is something that the immune system is maintaining. So let's say that we are in between these two things. If we can change the homeostasis a little bit, we can trigger the immune response. And this immune response is what essentially heals the client. So our therapy has the same properties as vaccination. So introduce a change which is not harmful for the patient to provoke the immune response. Group session is the most powerful way to treat energetically clients because in the group session, the group is sharing the energy potentials that we use to treat the person in front of the group. And, but above all is this uh, mental influence or the uh, group mind influence where the whole group shares one field of thought and the one field of being. So you are not separate, you are not alone anymore, but you are part of something bigger than you. And this is very empowering for the therapist to work with the patients and for the group to uh, receive the information that can help them to change their lives. In biocure treatment, we don't diagnose uh, clients. We uh, work only upon the diagnosis that is coming from the medical doctor or the medical specialist. Then we apply uh, certain uh, bioenergy procedures to promote the healing. And then the patient is going back to his specialist and doing a further examination, and then can get back to us independent of the result. So this is, this is a process. This is not, you know, almighty healing. In this therapy, we don't rely on the experience of a client. Uh, it's, it's very powerful and the experience is important, but uh, we uh, rather look at the biomedical examination after the one cycle or several cycles of the biocure therapy to understand the objectivity uh, of the result. We need to see the numbers, we need to see the change, which is measurable. So sometimes people want to test us, so they, they come and they say, uh, I want to feel your therapy. Uh, and sometimes people feel during or after the therapy, they don't feel anything. Well, it's, you don't have to feel anything. Do you feel anything when you take antibiotic? No. So it's not about what you feel. It's not about any of it, because these changes that, that are happening during the therapy, some people experience sweating, uh, cold, uh, heating, uh, vomiting, nausea, or they can even collapse, uh, is only due to the changes, the physiological changes due to our treatment. But this is not something that you feel, and you don't have to feel anything. You can have a result without feeling anything or without even having any, any uh, how to say, significant uh, reactions to the treatment. And you know, when, when somebody asks, can I test the therapy? I'm healthy, I'm, then my answer is that, then why not, for example, testing the heart surgery? You are healthy, just go to the heart surgery to see how it goes. So the question is, why do we need 
medicine if we have such a powerful bioenergy treatment? Well, the biocure therapy is not a substitute for the allopathic medicine. The allopathic medicine is very important because it saves lives, reduces the pain, brings more restful nights, and uh, reduces the stress, which indirectly actually brings the immune responses higher, which uh, uh, means that our job is uh, more possible if we have a stable patient. So the medicine stabilizes the patient, the body heals the patient, and somewhere in between is our intervention to help the clients to have a good result. It's unpredictable to know what is going to be result uh, with a particular client. Uh, we are all different. We all have different evolutionary function. Uh, we all have different lifestyles. We live in a different environment. We have different heritage from our parents and so on and so on. And uh, to say that we can predict it uh, uh, would be the same as saying that can I predict when I'm going to die? Because uh, healing is a biological event and dying is also a biological event. Spirituality is about the things beyond the mind and the body and the medicine is all about the mind and the body. Uh, from that perspective, the healing and medicine has nothing to do with uh, sp spirituality, although sometimes the spiritual practices or thinking can lead to less stress and can be very comforting, especially in palliative care, and uh, uh, can help the patient to go through the process easier, and also can help the immune uh, uh, response because more or less stress, better immune system.